It's the Fright Fest All Nighter, and we're here tonight with one of my favourite people. I've um, known him for years, 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 and years. Shouldn't say too many. But it's Michael Armstrong, the director of so many great movies. It's Absolutely. great to see you. Lovely to see you. Yeah, we haven't really seen each other for years. I know. What happened? I was younger then. Oh. And you haven't changed oh. at all. Oh, Angel. Uh, <laughs> You're supposed listen. to say about me now. Oh, yes, and neither of you, neither of you. Oh. Uh, now, listen, let's talk about Mark the Dove first, because right, we're here right, to right, sort of like right. debut the yeah, world yeah, premiere sure, of the... the, re of the and uh, on cult for the first time publicly. Yes, absolutely. It's amazing. So, you know, how did you end up being director of one of the most controversial movies <laughs> of all time? Was basically the first question. I was offered... I, I was originally about to do a film with Paramount. Uh, of a script I'd written called The Kinky Death Wish of Vernon Slim, which was actually written for Udo Kier. And it was the time when Hollywood suddenly all pulled back from European production. So Kinky Death Wish, along with everything else, went by the way that those things go. And I was offered by my agent to direct a film called The Witch Hunt of Dr. Dracula, which was a German financed film. So I read the screenplay and said, absolutely no way. Um, and she said, well, they really want you. I said, well, not for this. And she said, well, I'm sure you could probably do some rewrites. So I said, well, I'll let you want to do something completely. I'll take the basic premise, but other than that, I'll do something, create something completely new. And she said, yes, they've agreed. So I sat down quite rapidly and wrote Mark of the Devil. And I took from the screen that was that was there, the um, original premise of the witch hunts of that period. Mm. Now, the Germans wanted you because of Haunted House of Horror doing so yes, well. Yes. That was the reason why your name yes, came yes. up on their radar. I mean, and yet now, Germany sort of like have really turned their back on this whole stuff. I mean, it is the most censorious place in Europe, isn't it? So it's quite extraordinary. I don't know, I haven't really kept track of it's it. It's really quite extraordinary that they put out these movies. And, and of course, Mark of the Devil spawned a sequel as well, of course. Well, it spawned several. Yeah. I mean, uh, Adrian Hoven, who I think famously everybody knows we didn't exactly get on. Well, he still wanted actually to do um, Witch of Dr. Dracula, which he was going to direct and act in. Such a great title. I mean, okay, I can understand why you didn't want to do it, but great title. I know, and when I tell people how awful it was, I said, that sounds like great fun. I said, well, yeah, but you haven't read the script, you know. Yeah. Um, but it, it was, he'd always wanted to do that, and there was just I don't know, animosity right from the go from, from literally arriving in Germany. Because um, he wanted to direct it, didn't he? He wanted to direct it, and it was his baby. Yeah. And um, he never really let on the fact that the distributors and the, the backers were interested in my version on his, mm. and it became very obvious. And so he had me rewriting and changing and trying to put it back. And even when we were shooting, we were trying to put things back in and mm. do what have you. It, I mean, it was extraordinary. I mean, it was almost like he was trying to sabotage it. And because with uh, certain scenes, um, and we had certain languages operating on it, um, I couldn't communicate with the actors. In certain, I mean, Gabby folks particularly, you know, with the tongue and, and all that. Uh, and I spoke to the girl, and she probably knew what I was doing in the picture. Um, but he basically rushed and said, well, I'll, I'll be assistant director, and I'll translate and do it for you. And admittedly, the camera positions and all that are mine, and I did all that. Um, and he was fairly well behaved because at least he could be, you know, run around and everyone was very, very you know. Were they, were they forced it on you or did you actually choose that? I mean, Gary Fuchs was obviously um, one of the part of the co-production package deal, I'd imagine. Most of them were, only because I didn't know German actors as right. Um Udo, Oliveira was already on board uh, and um, uh, Herbert was going to be then when he read my script. Right. I don't think he'd read the other one. Um, in fact, I'm sure he hadn't read the other one. <laughs> when he agreed to do it. Um, so they'd hooked me, they'd hooked Herbert, and as I say, Oliver was already on board. Udo was a character I created uh, and put in there, and so Udo came in because of me. Uh, but the rest were really uh, German actors and I didn't know. To was the violence it. hard to film? Did people, I mean, was it was it pretty much a bog standard way of doing it? Because it does go beyond <laughs> most things that you saw at that particular oh, time. Very much so. I was, to be honest, quite amazed at what they were 
cheerily doing. Um, I mean, I'd sort of want this, this and this. And they come back with even more. And I go, oh, great. <laughs> the enthusiasm. There was a very young uh, crew, with the exception of Ernst Kalinka. Uh, it was a DOP who absolutely hated me. Who was, who was this young upstart, you know, dare <laughs> to um, and um, but he was a young crew, were lovely, and they just relished every second of it. Udo has very very fond memories of it. Oh, he? Udo's a he's joy. always told me that yeah. it's funny because it's one of the films that of course he's most remembered. For. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, yeah. in a way, I think it helped launch him fully mm. internationally because he wasn't known to in America before that. Yeah, uh, and I think then followed by the, the Warhol uh, movies. Sure. Paul, Paul I think that means, wasn't that one of the movies that actually Fassbinder actually saw him in, I think? I think it might have been. And yeah. put it, that's how they got together. Yes, I think. yes, I think so. Uh, and Paul Morris you have, because I, I remember uh, having um, supper with Paul one, one, one night um, with Robin Bean. Who, uh, right, films and, and films. Yes, that's right. And uh, Paul said it, it was Michael Devil that said actually. Um, wow. with, with, with well, okay. Video. Were you surprised about the censorship aspect? I mean, in America, of course, it got released as V for violence, vomit bags, all this sort of stuff. I mean, they sort of like take it as part of the course. There. Of course, in England, we were, everyone went up in arms. It was the film that most horror fans wanted to see at the time who couldn't see it. We had to wait like 15 years to see it. It, it was crazy. I'd, I, I, I certainly had anticipated that kind of reaction response. I knew there'd be a strong reaction, um, but then I made the film for that reaction. Mm. I mean, not a reaction to shock in that sense, but a reaction with an audience. But the first clues that I got was when I heard back from um, somebody who'd been a can when it was first being shown in the marketplace, that they'd actually genuinely had to call in um, nurses and things. And <laughs> I said, oh my God, really? Um, now, I had, with Haunted House of Horror, seen it in a public cinema when the, the first killing, two girls were sitting in front of me and actually screamed and run out of the cinema. Um, and when the, the uh, Frankie uh, got killed, um, there were a little group down there, again, girls, who were actually sobbing and, and, and in a terrible state. Um, mm. So I. I Realised that by really showing violence strongly, you could affect an audience, which is not exactly a mind-boggling realisation. But with Mark of the Devil, I knew it would be strong, but I, I wasn't anticipating quite such a violent reaction against it. I watched Haunted House of Horror again the other day, actually, because I mean, you know, it's just come out again. Yes, yes. And yes. you know, it still works. And you mentioned the the first murder. That still works. Yes. You still jump. It's still a great moment. I love that film. You know, I always did, so, you know. It, it's, it's very curious for me now, all those years later, after everything I went through and, and right. so on, uh, to see it almost as if I died and it's, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's being viewed by the future generations. Now I'm meeting people who weren't born where these things are made. Sure. And what I found really, really very nice, actually, um, is their response to them about seeing through the kind of critical hype that occurred when they were originally made. Mm. Um, I mean, Mother of the Devil was all about um, the violence and the shock and the horror, because it was sold, obviously, with an exploitation comic. But when I meet younger people now who, 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 who like the film response to them, they don't talk about that. They talk about the themes and the ideas, and those are the things that, that they seem to affect them, which is what the film was about. And again, I uh, spoke to people about what it has of horror, and they were very, it was somebody just recently at, at the Manchester Film Fest I went to, where um, somebody very shrewdly said it's so clear that two hands were involved, because it is two movies, in style and everything, and look. <clears throat> well, to me, that was always very obvious, but I found it refreshing that fans actually, Somebody actually noticing see that. that. Yeah. Uh, whereas at the time, it was not. It was not viewed that, even by the critics. Mm. So, the, in, in time, it seems to be um, holding quite well.
Mm. Michael, thank you so much for doing this. We're so <laughs> pleased you're here. Oh, uh, Mark of the Devil Unspool soon, and we know it's going to do well. Oh, thank you very much. Bless. Thank you. Thank you.